of prayer. Just come down a little bit here. I believe in the power of prayer. Would you look at that person on your left and your right? Tell them whether you know it or not. You're the best thing I got going for me. Why do I say that? Because the Bible says that at midnight, Paul and Silas begin to sing praises unto God and begin to pray. And I really believe that while one was praying, another one was praising and vice versa. God got involved. And I'm telling you right now, you can pray and pray on your own, but it's nothing like coming together. Yeah, we go better together. Gracious and eternal Father, we bless you and we thank you because you've been so good to us. You've been better to us than we could ever be to ourselves. Thank you, God, for our lying down last night and our early rising this morning. Thank you for food on our tables, clothing on our backs. Thank you for the activities of our limbs, Father, shelter over our heads. For this we say thank you. Squeeze that hand gently. Father, I thank you for my brother and my sister whose hand I'm holding. And God, I ask right now that you do something extraordinary, something phenomenal, something awesome, all for your glory. Do it for your glory. Mend the broken hearts, heal sick bodies, bring peace to troubled minds. And for this, we promise to give you all of the praise and adoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Throw your arms around somebody. Hug them like they're your first cousin. And tell them something good is going to happen to you. That's right. Put a smile on your face. Something good is going to happen to you. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Think about it. All that's good and perfect comes from you just about 30 seconds you're the heart you're the heart of my content hope for all I do that's it everybody Jesus you're the center you're the center of my joy all right y'all y'all be seated y'all be seated y'all be seated I like the sound of that organ sometimes when I'm singing when I've lost my direction you're the compass of my ways. It's a pinnacle sound. You're the fire and light. When nights are long and cold. Is this your testimony? <laughs> In sadness, you are the laughter that shatters all of my fears. And when I'm all alone, your hand is there to hold. If that's your testimony, wave your hand. Somebody say, Jesus, Jesus you're the center. If you really believe it, come on, just open your mouth. All that's good comes from you. Pick me up just a little bit. You're the heart, you're the heart. My contentment. Hope for all I do. Think about it. That's it. Everybody, Jesus, you're the center, you're the center of my joy. All right, all right. Thank you all so much. You sang so beautifully. Yes, you do. Thank you so, so very much. Listen, before I go another further, let's bless God for our beloved First Lady. Amen. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. I, I, I know Pastor Spence and I bless God for him this morning. Amen. God bless you and to all of our elders and ministers that serve this house unselfishly. Amen. Thank God for my daddy. Amen. He's here. Y'all come on, do better than that. Amen. My uncle Walt is here. Come on, y'all do better than that. Come on, come on. My nephew Caleb is here. Come on, y'all do better than that. Come on, come on, come on to all that serve this house, my best friend, and I thank God for him, that in the person of Pastor Vincent Chadwick. Come on, y'all. I said my best friend. Why y'all looking at me like that? I said my best friend. He that has a friend must first show himself friendly. Amen. If it wasn't for the prayers of this dear brother, I don't know if I could have made it through this last year. Amen come down just a little bit amen amen I, I thank god for you pastor chadwick i really really 
really do. People have no idea what the preacher goes through from Sunday to Sunday, especially when you make transitions like this. They, they have no idea people oftentimes will judge your intent by your actions. Y'all going to talk back to me. And then they look at the veneer of things. They look at the external, but they have no idea what's going on in the internal. And uh, I, I came down and I decided I was going to dance a solo. I ain't thinking about you. This is between me and God. Amen. I decided I was going to come down and just praise God undignifiedly. Uh, somebody say, why? Because I got a flashback that the last transition... Some of y'all wasn't around. Ministry was birthed in 05, but somewhere around 06, 07, we made a transition to Theodore Green Boulevard, and I just about lost my mind behind it. And I began to thank God because I'm so glad that that did not arise again. Almost went through a divorce behind that. You sitting there looking at me sideways, but I'm so glad that it did not arise again. And, and, and when pastor said, thank God for keeping the first family together. See, you sitting there looking because you come every now and then. But when you got to ride this iron horse every week, my God, look at somebody telling you have no idea. I tell you, there's been a whole lot of fussing and cussing. Y'all, are you too saved for that? Hello, somebody doing this transition. Amen. And, and I thank God for the prayers of the righteous. I thank God for my wife hanging in there with me. Amen, amen, amen. I said to her, I said to her the other week, I believe God's people got the Holy Ghost, amen, because I never get up and make her look bad. She said, yeah, but that don't mean I'm all good. I said, you skippy about that one, amen. So we bless God that God has kept us and, and, and just held us because watch this here for 17 praises. The spirit of the house illuminates from the king. Bring that down just a little bit. The spirit of the house illuminates from the king. Here, here's another thing and I'm going to get right out of the way. I thank God that my younger brother Justin is here. Justin, wave your hand if you would. That's my younger brother. That's my younger brother. That's my blood brother. Uh, let me say this to y'all. He started the children's ministry here at Life Changing. That's right. See, you have no idea who people are. Amen. He started the children's ministry when we were down, uh, just down the road here sharing a church. Amen. And I would be preaching and kids would be running around, dropping gold, goldfish and, and laughing and throwing paper and stuff. He came to me afterwards on the wall. He said, you need a children's church. I said, children's church? He said, yeah, you need to be able to give these parents a break. He said, if these parents knew that they could have a church and you got children's church, you'd be surprised how to work. I said, well, I don't know nothing about children's church. He said, well, I do. Now, let me help you. He wasn't living in the area. Y'all looking at me sideways. He wasn't living in the area. He was living down in Portsmouth, Virginia. And he would come up here, amen, and help us with our children's church. Now, I know he don't look like the type of person you want to leave your kids with, amen, because he looked like he would rip somebody's head off, amen. But, but that's just his exterior. On the inside, he's one of the nicest people you ever want to meet. Uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, let me go a step further. When my dad's wife transitioned from labor to reward, Amen. With the busyness of everybody's schedule, Justin took the time out of his schedule and went down to Florida and brought Daddy back to uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania there and, and helped him get through that time. Amen. See, some of y'all, you know, you look at the polished presentation of the preacher, but you never, you have no idea there's a support system. Hello. And, and you don't know what it's like until you have to become a caretaker for somebody. Hello, somebody, you know. And so, Justin, I've said it privately and I said publicly, thank you. And I love you for that. I mean that. Thank you for all you do for mama. Amen. You know, sometimes people do things and people walk by you and treat you like you the least, least the left out and the looked over. Amen. Thank you for seeing a better life. She's watching. Thank you for seeing a better life for mama. Amen. And moving mama, amen, off of 22nd and and uh, whatever that street is there in uh, Lehigh. Lee 
High Avenue, I can't think whatever it is, Van Pelt Street, thank you, and bringing Mama to Delaware. Amen. She sleeps better. She looks better. She feels better. Amen. Thank you. And oftentimes these things go and people don't have no idea. Amen. The person that's pushing things behind. Amen. Uh, let me say this again. Somebody say, why is he talking like this? Number one, I got the mic. Amen. All right. Uh, when I was in a little financial crunch, trying to get things done here. Amen. And I was short. I was short both publicly and privately. Amen. Over $10,000. I know he don't want me to tell it. When I was short, amen, my brother called me on the phone and he said, now listen, if you need 10 grand, you just let me know and I'll, I'll have it to you before the close of business today. That's the problem. You hang around all them broke folk because they popular. You better get around somebody and he's single. I ain't getting no help right there. Hey, amen. I figured I'd throw that in there. Amen. And uh, I said, I appreciate it. He said, you just let me know. I got the money right, right here, right here. And, and I was about to take it from him. And he said, and I'll fax you over the contract. Amen. To under contract. You my brother. Yeah, but this 10 grand, baby, we just don't sling this out there without an agreement. I said, but you know, I give it to you. No, I don't know that, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I said, all right, God bless you. But thanks be to God that he, he was there for us. Amen. And I appreciate that. And I love you for it. I mean that. I mean that. I mean that. I mean that. When Joe and I had a falling out and we wasn't talking. Amen. So somebody say family issues. Amen. It was my brother Justin. Amen. That stepped in and became the glue. Amen. To bring that thing together when they gave Joe four months to live. Amen. And I took Joe to the specialist and we began to pray and believe God. That's been about, what, four years now? Look at somebody and tell him God still performs miracles. Amen. And so, Justin, I thank you. He's one of those silent supporters, one of those people, amen, who is always there, amen, even when he's not there. I need y'all to get on your feet and bless God for my younger brother. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know what he's thinking right now. Just for that, I ain't coming back. I didn't ask you for that. That's what he's thinking. I can see it on his face. Amen. So to God be all of the glory. Certainly the Lord is gracious and kind, and we bless God for all that he is doing. Uh, I just want to get out of your way here. I want to thank uh, Miss April Washington. Where are you? If you would just wave your hand. April Washington, thank you so much for being here this morning. Amen. Sandersville, Georgia. Amen. Amen. I've never met a bad person out of Georgia. Amen. Thank you so very, very much. Amen. And when you get back home, amen. Uh, is, is Roy with you this morning? Is Roy with you? When you get back home, tell him we send our regards. Amen. To God be all of the glory. All right. Uh, Mr. Michael in Faith Stewart, where are you? Amen. Thank you so very much. Amen for being here this morning. A friend of you all told you about it, about this church. That's a good friend. That's a good friend. Who's the friend? Where's the friend? Where, there she, oh my God. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you are in great company. You are in great company. So thank you so, so very much. My dear sister right here, she's a new member. Her name fails me right here with the stripes on right here. Yes, yes. Shanae. Sister Shanae, hear me real good. I was up this morning praying and the Lord dropped you in my spirit. Favor. He said one word. Favor. 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 I want you to hear me good and I'm going to let this go here. You're getting ready to win in every area. You are going to win in every area you're going to win. And the next season that you enter into, I hear the Lord saying it now, is going to be the season of the big payback. It's where God is going to give it all back to you. And I love the way God gives it back. He gives it back good measure, press down, shake it together, and run it over. Now, I may not be talking to you, but if you just open your mouth and decree and declare, I'm in my winning season. And I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care how long you've been dealing with it. I'm telling you right now, I dare you to make the devil out of a liar and rush this altar and decree and declare I'm going to win in every area I'm shifting of my life. My God, 
My God, how you respond is how you receive. Find somebody and tell them, I need you to agree with me that I'm going to win in every area of my life. High five somebody on your way back to your seat and tell them this is my winning season. This is my favor, 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 favor. Some of y'all just a tad bit too quiet. You need to find somebody and rock them and shake them and shake them and rock them and tell them I'm in my winning season. And can I tell you something? In this season, whatever you ask God for, it shall be done. Some of y'all looking at me sideways. Believe the Lord thy God, so shall thou be established. Believe his prophet, so shall thou prosper. Would you look at somebody and tell them, if you ask him for a house, you're going to get it. If you ask him for a car, you're going to get it. If you ask him to save every member in your family, you're going to get it. Whatever you ask God for, he's not going to do it because you're so right. He's going to do it because he's righteous. I, I'm sorry, y'all just acting a little too cold for me. I need some of y'all to get out of your seat and go tell somebody, you gonna get it, not because you deserve it, but because he delights in you. You gonna get it, not because you deserve it, but because he delights in you. And you know why he delights in you? Because my Bible decrees and declares that God inhabits the praises of his people. I dare you to open your mouth and begin to lift your voice and clap your hands and say if he did it before he's gonna do it again i know i know i know some of y'all looking at me sideways but i need you to grab somebody and tell them this is your winning season tell them everything in this season is gonna be all right my God, I deputize you. I need you to prophesy to somebody. And I know we going old school now. Tell them you ain't going to lose nothing. They ain't going to take nothing. And you ain't going to have to give nothing up. You're going to make me come down and sit next to you. I said you got to look at somebody and tell them this is your winning season. I'm all right, you're making me do it. I said find somebody and tell them this is my winning season. Tell them I'm going to win in every area. Tell them I'm going to win in every area. Oh, you know, I feel radical. I wish you would get out of your seat and start walking. Why? Because every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon, it belongs to you. Look at somebody and tell them it's already mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Mine, it's mine. You gonna win, your children gonna win, your mama gonna win, your grandmama gonna win, your nasty bosses gonna win. Oh my God, don't you get nasty like that and don't want God to bless your enemies. Lean over and tell somebody. I said, This is my winning season. <laughs> and here's the favor somebody else is gonna pay for it. Y'all ain't loud enough for me. I said, here's the favor. Somebody else is going to pay for it. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Look at somebody else and tell them, somebody else is going to pay for it. After all you've been through, what? After all you've been through? Oh, I felt that thing. When the prophet said that the county is going to pay, I hope they watch it. Lord have mercy. Lean over and tell somebody somebody else is going to pay for it. When you go to dinner, don't you sit up there and just order appetizers. No, baby. And don't you just order chicken. Why? Because God's getting ready to favor you. And somebody else is going to pay for it. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, when God bless me, he's blessing me to be a blessing to you. I just might be the one to pay for your house. I just might be the one to pay your tuition. I just might be the one to... What y'all don't believe it, is there anything too hard for God? I said, is there anything too hard for God? Woo. I need every young person to holler, Lord, bless my mama and daddy. Y'all ain't seeing nothing to me. I got to get out of here. I said, I need every young person. If you under 99, you're young, open your mouth and say, Lord, bless my mama and daddy. Woo! I need about 30 men to rush this altar and say, God, increase me so I can take better care of my family. 
God increase me so I can take better care of my family. God, in, your wife ain't materialistic. It's therapeutic for her to go shopping. Increase me so I can take better care of. That's right. I, I, that's right, ladies. If your husband ain't here, come and touch the altar for him. Some of y'all ain't saying nothing. You looking around at, like Alice in Wonderland. Open your mouth and give him glory. Is there anything too hard? Woo! I just need you to get something in your hand and wave it and decree and declare, I feel increase. I feel increase. I feel increase. I was backing out of the driveway and before I took off the church, I stopped and said, paid off. Now I'm gonna keep saying it until I see it paid off. If God can get me in there with, oh Lord have mercy, with not the proper credit score and didn't have the right down payment, you mean to tell me he can't pay it off? Some of y'all, you ain't gonna see it until you see it. You better say something. Look at somebody and tell them there's a new address for me. Whenever God ships his house, he's shipping his people. Woo! All right, this is my last one and I got to move and we gonna praise God for 30 seconds. I need you to run to somebody and tell them, be thou healed, be thou delivered, and be thou set free. Tell them, be thou healed, be thou delivered, and be thou set free. Tell them, be thou healed, be thou delivered, and be thou set free. I said, run to somebody. Some of y'all looking around. Come on, God blesses your obedience. Tell them, be thou healed, be thou delivered, and be thou set free. Be thou healed, be thou delivered, and be thou set free. See what you send out to come back. When you find that last person, tell them God can do anything. God can do. God can do anything. But Phil, I need you to grab it. God can. God can do. Yes, he can. Anything. That's it. Anything. What? Everybody clap those hands right there, right there. And while you clap and see your house paid off. See all the upgrades you want. Come on, while you clap and see yourself out of the mustard and in the ketchup. Come on. While you clap and see yourself blessing your spouse every day of the week. That's vital. I said, while you clap and open your mouth and see mama heal. See daddy heal. See grandmama heal. I need about three people to just jump in the middle aisle and turn around because that's what God's getting ready to do for mama and them. That's the Emma Shataha. Somebody say, all this don't make no sense, baby, it works. It was a praise, obedience, and faith that brought us from Theodore Green to Old Washington Road. Lean over and tell somebody, watch God do it. Now I'm going to give you one more chance to do it and I need you to say with everything you got. God can do. God can do. Anything. 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 But fail. Yes, he can. Oh, I know he can. Oh, God. That's it. God can do anything. Somebody open your mouth and scream. Woo! Y'all too cool for me. Come on. Yeah. Only God can do it. I said only God can do it. I said only God can do it. 
I said only God can do it. I got to move on. Too soon. Lay your hands on your son and prophesy and tell them you're next. Look, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, lay your hands on them and tell them you're next. You're next. I don't know what you're waiting on me for. I, you need to lay hands on your own spirit and tell them you're next. To prophesy, you're next. The same Holy Ghost in me is in you. You're next. I said, You're next. You're next. Next for what? Next for the miracle. Next to be considered. Next to be brought from obscurity to notoriety. Lean over and tell your neighbor. You're next. You're next. You're next. You're next. Maybe your children ain't here, but I pray that the anointing will be upon you. Lay your hands on somebody's shoulder and tell them, You're next. Oh, Lord. I got to get out of here. You're next. You're next, you're next. You're next, you're next. Grab somebody by the arms and shake him real good. I said grab him and shake him and tell him you're next. If they don't believe it, I'm telling you, slap them until they come to the knowledge of it. Tell them you're next. There's power in my words. I said you're next for the promotion. You're next for the race. You're next for the new house. Lean over and tell you, neighbor, I, 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 I'm next. Oh, Lord. I got to get out of the way because I want to bring the preacher up. your neighbor and tell your neighbor, watch God exceed every one of your expectations. Listen. God is getting ready to do it for you. He's just waiting for you to expand your expectations. Look at somebody and tell them, you didn't go through what you went through for nothing. Look at him real good and tell him truth of the matter is it ain't punishment, it's just process. So that when you get on the other side of food, you'll know how to act. Woo. Look at somebody and tell him, don't get stuck on my now, baby. Tell him if you got the Holy Ghost, look and see my next. When they act funky on that little job, tell them God's got next. When he act like he ain't got good six, tell him God's got next. When she act like she don't care no more, tell her God's got why y'all looking at me sideways. Lean over and tell your neighbor. Next. I'm not being nasty or malicious, but some of y'all just too passive. You got to learn to get violent with that thing. The kingdom of heaven suffered that. Come, come here. I, I'm going to do something. I, I'm going to do something. I, I'm going to anoint you. And this is what's going to happen. God's going to put that dog in you. Now see, some of y'all missing. I really got to move on. The Bible says that, watch this here. Joshua and Caleb said that we're well able to go over and possess the land. 
Some of y'all too passive for what you believe in God for. The word Caleb means dog. And what a dog will do, he'll grab hold of something and won't let it go. I'm not talking about your teacup terrier. No, I'm not. Ta I'm talking about a real dog. Not that little one you got sitting on the couch that you watch Family Feud with. No, no, not that one. I'm talking about that one that won't bark until you get close enough. Woo! That one there. And, and, and the Bible says that that's what the word Caleb means. means dog. And you grab hope to something. And when you grab hope to it, you won't let it go. That's what happened with Jacob. He said, I won't let you go until you bless my soul. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to anoint him, but it's going to fall on a whole lot of you. David got it. I'm telling you right now. Look at somebody and tell them, I'm nice in church. But if you get me in the right atmosphere, tell them there's a dog in me. I ain't y'all looking at me sideways. See, what that dog will do, it'll start causing you to let people walk in front of you. When you know it ought to be your turn. I ain't getting no help. When that dog gets in you, what? It'll make you say, say it one more time. And matter of fact, it's over right now. And but I, I just, you know, it's about 30 of y'all need a little more dog in you. You need to rush down to this altar. You keep letting people take advantage of you and treat you any kind of way. And you think because you nice like you ought to be Christ like. Uh-uh, baby. My Bible tells me that Jesus came with a sword. All right. It was Peter that had that dog in him. Y'all looking at me. Why must I be like that? I ain't getting no help. Look at somebody tell him you need a little more dog in you. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm getting ready to anoint you. I'm, I'm getting ready to anoint you. Some more y'all need to get down here. Some of y'all looking at me sideways. Huh? Matter of fact, come on, come on. Now, the rest of y'all, come on here. I'm anointing you right here. You, that, that don't mean you're going to walk on campus and just start punching people. No, it just simply means that, guess what? David had that dog in him when he went out to fight the lion. He said, how dare you come against me like this here? And the Bible said that the anointing of God came upon him. My God, come here, come here, come on. Where, 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 where you at? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, in the name of Jesus. I know the Lord's going to fight your battle, but some of us just a little too passive. I'm not talking about you cussing for out. You're just nice by nature. But I hear God saying, I'm getting ready to stir you up. My God, and bring you up in the name of Jesus. Oh, I can give it to you because I got that dog in me. Am I? You ain't gonna be barking, no you ain't, no you ain't. But you are gonna come from, from the back to the front in the name. Now when I lay my hand on you, you got to open your mouth and tell God thank you. When I lay my hand on you, you got to open your mouth and tell him thank you. When I lay my hand on you, you got to open your mouth and tell him thank you. You got to open your mouth and tell him thank you. Yes. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. I need folk that believe God. Come on in the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody open your mouth and decree and declare my days of being the least and left out and the looked over are over. It's all right. I get the next one. That devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. It's all right that they did me like that. God will justify. I know he will, but that devil is a liar. Look at somebody and tell them, shake yourself. That's what Nehemiah told them. Fight for your family. Fight while y'all looking at me. God's giving me to anoint you. My God. Woo. Now help me good. Help me good. Some of y'all, I got to move. It won't be revealed until you get backed in the corner. And, and, and that's why the enemy keeps trying to back you in the corner and you think it's the devil. God says, no, 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 no. That, that, that's me letting them back you in the corner so you can come out fighting. I, I, 
I got to move on here. Y'all be seated. We getting ready to give and I'm going to let the preacher come forth. But look at somebody and tell them this is my winning season. I know I, I feel it in the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all kind of, mm, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. That's all right. Read your Bible. Moses ruled with the rod, but Joshua led him to the promised land with the knife. See, and the rod will be like, all right, come on. I get you out of it. This, that, another. And then when they wanted water, they say, Pastor Moses, we need water. Pastor Moses, hold on, y'all, y'all, y'all a little bit ahead of me. I appreciate it. I need to receive a special offering. Y'all a little ahead of me. That's, that's fine, but I need to receive a special offering. I appreciate y'all being proactive, but hold tight, hold tight. I need to receive a special offering. Thank you, sweetie. I appreciate it. Thank you. L listen, and, and, and every time they wanted water, Moses would say, all right, and he would go talk to God, and God would tell Moses, speak to the rock and give him water. But daddy, when they got under Joshua, and they wanted water, Joshua looked at them and said, go dig yourself a well. When they were error under Moses, Moses would go get a sacrifice and plead, God, don't destroy your people. But when Joshua got on his knees and began to pray and say, why can't we overcome this little Ai? They say, because Achan acting up. Joshua said, all right, go get Achan, his wife and his children. It's in your Bible, Joshua, Joshua 6 and 7. Go get them all, and he killed the whole family and put them in the hole. You do realize it was Harriet Tubman that led the people through the Underground Railroad. And you know what? You know what? History records that guess what? She, she killed all the prisoners and took none of the wounded. Killed all the wounded and took no prisoners. Some of y'all being too nice. Some of y'all being way too nice. And you think that just because you're a Christian that you ought to let people treat you any kind of way. No, that devil is a liar. You got to know what you're worth and get your value. Y'all looking at me sideways. Now, I'm not talking about walking around punching old ladies in the mouth or hitting old people. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about people just think they can treat you any kind of way. Lord have mercy. Look at somebody and tell them, just because I'm Christ-like don't mean I'm nice-like. And God's getting ready to anoint you. You're going to see it. You, you, ooh, you're going to see it. You're going to see it. All right, listen. This is what I need to do. I'm on the preacher's time. This is what I need to do. I'm, I'm going to do this here, and then I'm getting out the way. This is what I need. I need 50 people. This is not our offering. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it twisted. And I know some of y'all say, man, when Bishop get ready to receive that offering, boy, he go at that thing with some intention. You write. You, you write about it. Because success is not an accident. It's intentional. Now, I need 50 people. I want to clear this thing up. Ever since we've been here, we ain't been behind. And, and when we moved over here, there's no quadruple. We ain't been behind. Watch this here. My house ain't in foreclosure. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And I thank God for that. But I want y'all to hear me real good. Hear, hear me real good. Hear me real good. We're getting ready to come out of the month of May and go into the month of June. And I want to make sure that everything in May is taken care of. Everything in May is taken care of. Look at somebody and tell them, everything in May. Everything in May. And we got something that needs to be taken care of. And this is what I need. I'm going to give 500. I'm going to give 500. But I need 50 people to stand with me quickly with $100. 50 people. Just stand. Stand. Some of you can give more. Just stand. Some of y'all ain't gave all month. Amen. Just stand. 50 people stand. I'm going to give 500. I'm going to give 500. I need you to stand real quick. Matter of fact, when you stand, come down and stand next to me. Let me know you're with me. Let me know you're with me. 50 people. 50 people. I ain't got no games. I ain't got no gimmicks. I ain't got nothing like that. I just need 50 people. I'm going to give 500. Get my offering envelope for 500. Thank you so very much. And come and stand to my left. Your right, my left. Yeah. On this side over here, 50 people. If, if, if you don't have that 100, amen, and you want to give uh, 250s, that's fine, amen. If you don't have 100 and you want to give 250s, that's fine. I, I just need you to help me with this here. Help me with this here. Ever since we come over here, I told y'all back over there that we were going to have to face the giants. 
And oftentimes your giants are not external, they're internal. Now, I'm not doing this to embarrass anybody, to make anybody feel in a certain kind of way. I'm thinking, man, you're getting ready to win. Do you hear me? I see it on you. You're getting ready to win. I'm telling you, I know a champion when I see one. Ask my son. I'm telling you, 50 people, 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 50 people. 50 people in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Thank you, thank you. This is not our tithing or offering. This is just our sacrificial giving. We're going to do this here and get this thing done. You watch what God do. You watch what God do. You watch what God do. Give, give, give me a count. Let me see where we are. Let me see where we are. Let me see where we are. Where we are? 17, 17. So we're short, we're short. If some of y'all need to team up together, I, I, need, I need everybody that can and will. Somebody say, why is he doing this? Because he's going to close this thing out in May. We're not going in June dealing with May stuff. Amen. All righty. In the name of Jesus. All righty. All righty. If we get to 25 and can't get no more, then we'll double it up and everybody get 200. Amen. We're going to do this thing and get it done. We're going to do it and get it done. Do it and get it done. All right. I need everybody else in here. Get the greatest seed you got. Come on, come on, come on. If you're coming, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Good friend of mine was pastoring, still pastoring, and he had, David, what's that fellow name? Played defensive end for Arizona. Dockett. What's his first name? Darnell Dockett. Had Darnell Dockett at his church. Darnell Dockett. I'm calling that name in the atmosphere because he's in the area. Amen. Had him in his church. And at that time, Darnell Dockett was on a contract. He's making over $6 million a year. And I said, Reverend, there's your blessing right there. And the man went to him and told him, anything you need, just ask me. I'm here for it. Anything you need. And when I went to his church to preach, he told me, I don't want to bother him. Man, making $6 million a year, you hollering about, you don't want to bother him. You, you don't want to bother him. I said, bring him up here. I'll bother him. I said, bring him up. He gone. I said, bring, call him back. I'll bother him. I said, you too passive to win, man. If you're going to win, you got, you got to be intentional about this thing. In the name of Jesus. All right. How many, how many we got? Y'all, come on, come on. I'll be the first one. Come on right there. In the name of Jesus. Come on, Father. We thank you and we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you. We thank you and we bless you. Let's get an envelope. Pastor wants an envelope. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some of them are giving online. Some of them are giving my credit card. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is how I almost lost it in 07. This is how I snapped in 07. Because I was letting stuff go from month to month to month. And before you know it, you four months down and you hurt me. Uh-uh, the devil is a liar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? You always know God's going to do it because he always gives seed to the sower. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You always give seed to the sower. So just as sure as you've given it, watch this here. Hear me as a prophet of the Lord. In the next 72 hours, God's going to give it right back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together, and run it over. Thank you. 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 Uncle Walt Preacher called me the other day and he says, man, I have a problem asking on that level. I said, well, try giving on that level. Try, try giving on that level because you can receive on the level you give on. In the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you. We moved in here. A matter of fact, just the other week, they paid a $2,400 gas bill. $2,400 gas bill. And it's hot outside. $2,400 gas bill. It's over a $3 million facility. And look at somebody and tell them, and this ain't our last stop. You know what I just heard the Lord say for seven of y'all that'll help me praise him right there? Some of y'all houses are going to cost more than this. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. It, it ain't about your prosperity. It's about your trust. Thank you. 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 Others are coming. Thank you. Slip those hands up and begin to worship him. 
with my hands lifted up. That's it. giving it a part of worship. And my mouth filled with praise, with the heart, with the heart of thanksgiving. Oh, I will, I will bless. You. Thank you, Jasmine. She's in school and she gives with my hands lifted up. Oh, my, 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 my mouth filled with praise. With the heart of thanksgiving. Thank you. Everybody, I will, I will, I will bless thee. Come on, everybody, I will bless, I will bless thee, oh Lord. Oh, I will bless thee, oh Lord. The heart, of With the heart of thanksgiving. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, come on, I need some worship. Us with my hands lifted up, yeah. Thank you. And my mouth filled with praise. Thank you. Thank you. With the heart of thanksgiving. Has everybody had the opportunity? I will bless the Lord. Has everybody had the opportunity, whether you had the hundred or not, whatever you have, whatever you have to help us close this gap. This is not our tithing and offering. We'll come back for that. But if you want to give towards this, Bishop, I don't have that hundred, but guess what? I want to be guilty. Here's 20, here's 30, whatever the case may be. I don't want to rob you of the opportunity to make this sacrifice, to watch God do it in this house, that he might do it in your house. All right, if you've given, I want you to clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Come on, you got to do better than that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, stand on your feet. Come on, come on. I will bless thee, oh Lord. I will bless thee, oh Lord. I will bless thee, oh Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. With the heart of thanksgiving. That's it. Everybody, I will have bless thee, oh Lord. All right, the grass wither, the flower fadeth, but the word of the Lord shall stand forever. Listen, hear me good. I thank God. I thank God for my brother and my friend. I mean that from the bottom of my heart I thank God for them. everybody needs somebody that will tell you the truth that will pull the slack out of your chain that's not intimidated by your giftings not intimidated by your place or your statue everybody needs somebody everybody don't you be that isolated individual no man is an island no man stands alone you need somebody that will look you in your face and go hey that's not good and I thank God, I thank God that even though I'm a bishop in the Lord's church, that God has given me a Jonathan in my spirit. He's given me somebody that loves me, somebody that'll meet me in the stronghold and say, I'm here for you, I'm here with you. And I bless God. And I say this privately and I say it publicly, Pastor Chadwick, I love you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I want you to clap your hands as fast as you can and bless God for my brother and my friend. Pastor Vincent Chadwick all the way from South Florida. Put those hands together and bless the Lord for Bishop. Amen. There's a song on my heart and I'm not a singer but I do want to sing this song. It's an old song that I look at this young crowd amen I don't know if you all would know it but the song says the blood I like that that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary Oh, the blood that 
that gives me strength from day to day it will now or never lose oh Lord it's power anybody know that it reaches to the highest mountain and it flows to the lowest valley oh yeah the blood that gives me strength <laughs> from day to day it will never I thank God for the blood tell that person next to you it will never yeah it will never, oh, never lose its power. Come on, put your hands together and bless the Lord for the blood of Jesus. My God, while you're standing, if you would grab those Bibles. Amen. Grab your Bible. I will only be here for just a few minutes. Amen. Amen. And if you would turn with me to the gospel of St. Matthew. Amen. Chapter number 15. Chapter number 15. And we're going to begin reading. We're going to read together verse number 26. Is that all right? Say amen when you're ready. If you haven't gotten there yet, say, wait for me. And it reads, but he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Let's say it again. Let's read it one more time. But he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. On your way down, say with me, he did it anyway. Have a seat. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm so glad, so elated to be here with my good, my best friend, amen, this side of glory, amen. Bishop is, Bishop Brown, Bishop Brownlee is just, I don't even know how to describe him. This relationship is, is the doing of God. Amen. I don't know if you've ever had a friend, but I certainly have a friend in him, and we thank God for him. Amen. Amen. He is a man of God, and he walks boldly. He is a giant in the kingdom of God. And we thank God for Pop Brownlee being with us on today. God bless. Amen. I don't know how this happened, but y'all look maybe a couple years apart. Amen. God bless you. And I met Justin, <laughs> he said, that's right. And I met Justin on last night and I saw Joe somewhere. God bless. These are my brothers. Amen. These are my brothers in the Lord. God is blessed. When I bring you greetings from South Florida, New Life Church of God in Christ in Fort Lauderdale, where the pastor and super.